Hello everyone, this is James from Oosnist. Uh, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at um, clamps and how you can use them to hold down your material for when you're seeing seeing it. Um, so basically I thought the first thing we'd do is have a look at an example of the waste board we use on our machines. Um, so this is just some 12mm MDF um, which we've machined uh, and on the back you can see that we have machined holes um, or recessed holes and then holes all the way through for these four pronged M5 um, T-nut holders. So what that then allows us to do when we flip it over is have several options for where we can screw our clamps to. Um, so up until recently we've been using these um, five hold um, square corner brackets uh, and they've been absolutely fine for when you're using or when you're machining relatively shallow material. Um, the problem we've had recently when we were doing our World Cup project with this such um, thick material, this is like 40 mil, um, it's very hard to get a good um, clamping angle and a lot of pressure down on the, on the material. So what I've done is uh, found these clamps on Thingiverse. Um, I think they're from Inventables originally. So what these allow us to do is actually have um, two, two bolts into the clamp and we can actually have the clamp right at the top of the material and pushing down. So what you would do normally is have um, a threaded insert on the, in the bottom here for a larger bolt. Um, but what we're actually going to do today is use these clamps that I've 3D printed to machine some out of uh, mild steel. So what we'll do is we'll go into the area where the CNC is and have a look at how I've used these clamps to clamp down our piece of mild steel. Um, and then we'll have um, a quick view of the machine doing its thing. And then I'll come back and talk about the advantages of these clamps. So let's go and have a look at the CNC. So as you can see, um, I've used three of the 3D printed clamps to hold down our piece of mild steel that we're going to machine some further clamps out of. Um, now these 3D printed ones have a couple of advantages over say the metal ones that I showed you earlier. Um, and that being that they're obviously a lot softer than the material. So if the bit was to hit the clamp um, when it was machining, it wouldn't do too much damage to the bit because it will just go straight through the plastic. Um, a slight disadvantage is that perhaps over time these will um, slightly deform. So that's why we're going to make some out of mild steel today. Um, so I've got everything clamped down. Uh, I'm going to set up the machine into the work coordinates. Um, and you can watch one of our other videos um, about how to do that. Uh, and then we're going to machine our replacement clamps. Um, and then we, when we come back we can have a look at how they compare to the ones we were using before and how they compare to our 3D printed ones. So I'll join you in a second. So welcome back um, and as you can see we have now cut out our clamps uh, out of the mild steel sheet we had. Um, I'll go over the settings we used um, on the CNC in a second but as you can see um, I've also sort of done a little mock up here so you can see how the old system we used to use works and how the new clamp works um, and just by doing this small mock up here I can see that there's a lot more pushing force on this newer clamp than there was of the old one. Uh, it's also a lower profile, which means there's less likelihood of hitting it with the bit on the router. So yeah, so I think overall they've come out really well. Um, and obviously we used the 3D printed ones to hold down the, the sheet of mild steel, uh, and they also worked really well. So we're gonna keep on using those as well as these ones. Um, so. The settings I used for cutting out the mild steel were as follows. 
Um, so the DeWalt router that we had installed on the Work B um, set to 1600 RPM, which is the lowest setting um, that's available. Uh, the feed rate was at 100 millimeters, 180 millimeters a minute. Uh, the plunge rate was 90 millimeters a minute. Um, and what we actually did, um, we had 10 passes to cut through this three millimeter steel. Uh, and what we did in the Aspire software was it allowed a, two, a 0 0.2 mil allowance around the pocket. So what that basically did was it machined it slightly too small to start with. And then we run the G code again, but removing that allowance. And that basically means it had less material to remove uh, and actually gave a nicer finish on the edge. So I think overall, the, the new clamps that we've got here today are actually a really good idea. Um, so we'll have a link in the description to the 3D printed versions. Um, so what you can do with that um, version is actually create your own customized version. Um, so yeah, that will be in the link link in the description. Uh, and I also want to tell you or remind you that we are currently having a World Cup competition. Uh, now, unfortunately, obviously England are out of the World Cup, but that doesn't mean that you can't enter and win uh, an array of brilliant prizes. So we've got uh, a fifty-pound Usness voucher, um, a CNC World Cup, a three D printed World Cup. Um, a shirt of the winning team in your choice of sizes um, and a tub of retro sweets. So the link in the description for that competition is also uh, down below. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, and until next time, keep on making.